Welcome back. All right, the Northeast Florida Conservatory is known for putting on some great musicals throughout the year, but this year they're switching things up. That's right. Three is a family hits the stage on Friday, January 11th, a week from today. And Bill Stanislaua is the Dita Stanislaua is the play's director and conservatory executive director. And Gavin Turner, Marilyn Painter, and Audrey Everett are each a part of the production. Welcome to the show, y'all. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Appreciate you having us here. Hopefully that's not lit. We're not allowed to smoke indoors. Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Tell, tell us about your roles in the, in the play and what the story's about. Well, Three's a Family is a play that was written in the 40s by Phoebe and Henry Efron. You probably are familiar with their late daughter, Nora Efron, Sleepless in Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, when Harry met Sally. So it takes the place of, in a very small apartment, uh, Sam and Francis Whitaker, I am Sam. Uh, Francis is off working. And we also have living with us Francis' sister, the very annoying Irma, <laughs> beautifully played by Marilyn. And it's already cramped enough. We have a housekeeper. And then our daughter Kitty shows up with her baby because she's having a falling out with her husband. So <laughs> chaos just ensues. We've got to figure out where they're going to sleep, where she's going to be. Can we get the baby to stop crying? Can we get Kitty to stop crying? <laughs> so it's just one thing after another. And then more people come in. And it's, it's a lot of fun because, as you know, when families get into situations like this, it's funny when it's not your family. Right. I was just about to say that. Right. It reminds me of just last month. I was like, I was like, but it's fun. It's fun to watch someone else yes. go through that. So you guys have switched it up this year. Uh, why the change? I'll answer that. Yeah. All right. So we are known for musicals. Yes. We're known as musical education, and it was time for us to invite audiences that had appreciation for non-musicals. Oh. All right, so there's many, many great plays out there, whether it be from Neil Simon or other great writers. And this one we selected because A, it was a non-musical, but it was also a comedy. And everybody likes entertainment. They likes to be entertained in comedy. And so uh, we wanted to take it back a little bit. Hit in the 1940s, uh, we found it very ironic because actually a cycle took place. So a cycle where now today we have millennials yeah. that are returning back home, right. living with their family, and also the children are being taken care of by the parents as well as the grandparents. Yeah. So ironically, we go from 1943 all the way to present day of 2019, and we've made that full cycle. And what, so the, and uh, again, it starts a week from tonight at the conservatory. As so you guys are in the middle, you're about to start uh, what they call in theater heck, heck week, uh, where you're going to be rehearsing <laughs> nonstop. But how, how has it been going so far? gone well. I mean, it's, it's been a great challenge because, you know, you think of plays, this obviously is not a very well-known play. In fact, when Bill mentioned this is what we're doing, of course, I googled it. There's not a lot out there. There's yeah. really not. And so as, as, as get diving into the characters, you don't have a lot of reference material to go by. But it's been a great experience because you, you get to actually organically let your character develop. You don't have to have it predetermined by some other performance that you saw before. So it's been a good time. And what other stuff have you uh, performed? Is this your first time on stage? No, I've been in, this is my eighth show. Oh, okay. Yes. At the conservatory or just in general? My seventh at the conservatory. And then I did one at Orange Park. She's Theater. the veteran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love it. So how do you guys dive into your characters? Like, do you, because you know you hear about like method actors and all that. How do you dive into your character? And I, you know, we can go around. But I want to start with the annoying sister because I, I find that you, you, you had it you had it well <laughs> down. On the prior question, actually, this is my this will be my first time okay. on on stage. Congrats! And so I'm not sure if I'm giving the official answer, uh -huh. but my experience has been it's well. My son said, "Please don't do method acting once you <laughs> out that I had an annoying character." And I said, "Don't worry, I'll be fine." But I, I'm having a tremendously fun time just being somebody different from myself yeah, and um, hoping to maybe bring some of her traits, her few good traits, into my real life. <laughs> right. <laughs> because practicing, being annoying, sometimes could pay off. Right. right. <laughs> well, all the characters I imagine are, are uh, three-dimensional, not necessarily like, you know, it, it, no one's really all bad or all good kind of thing. Yeah, and I've gotten feedback that you'll either love Irma or you'll hate her, but you won't be neutral. Gotcha. Right. <laughs> That's right. good. And Bill, as we finish up here, is this, uh, this going to be continued? Is it going to go, you're going to alternate uh, musical, non-musical, or? Absolutely. There'll be an alternation. So there'll be musicals and non-musicals. The comedies will probably incorporate some drama as well. Excellent. We want to invite all audiences. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate you guys being here, and good luck with it. As Thank I say, you. break a leg. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you can catch Three is a Family on stage at the Northeast Florida Conservatory Theater starting Friday, January 11th through the 13th. You can find more information and get your tickets now by visiting nfconservatory.org.